Good morning, Black Twitter. It's your girl, Jeannie Lauren. Back again because the shenanigans never end. Today, I tweet for people who doubt themselves for no reason at all. If you ever put off doing something because you think it won't be good, but then it winds up turning out really well, I tweet for you. Aside, I've recently realized that the cure for imposter syndrome is to just actually do things. Just be in the world what you like to be in your mind, even in the smallest ways. So like if you're a singer and you think that no one would ever give you a deal, then just start singing on a YouTube page, start singing on an Instagram page, start singing on a Facebook page, just start singing. And if you're good and people like it, you're a singer. It's actually really that simple. Like if you've done things that you're proud of and you can show your work, imposter syndrome just kind of vanishes. It's not even a thing. There is no spoon. And actually, it might not even be work that you're really proud of and patting yourself on the back for. It might be work that you know is a work in progress. You know, it's got some wrinkles that need to be ironed out, needs improvement, but it's your work. It's your own trial and error, and now you can pull receipts out on yourself in the unlikely event someone ever tries you. Cause that's the thing with imposter syndrome, right? You're always worried that someone else is gonna think you're a fraud, but the truth of the matter is, nobody cares about you that hard, bruh. Seriously, nobody's thinking about you that hard. And if they are, it might just be their problem. So yeah, that's how you kick imposter syndrome to the curb. Now granted, this has got to be something reasonable. If you have imposter syndrome because you see yourself as a pop star, but you've never had a record deal, pobrecita, it's probably a good idea to reevaluate. Just saying. Anyhow, Trick Daddy was trending yesterday after saying that black women need to tighten up or we're going to lose black men to white women and Latinas. And honestly, I'm tired of talking about him. Like, why? Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another round of ugly man misogyny and I'm sick of it. I am fed up. Someone done gassed this man up because he has money and now he thinks his opinion matters. Damn it, Trick Daddy is ugly. Tell ugly men they're ugly. You don't get to tell me to tighten up when you have eyeballs the color of American cheese, sir. Lift some weights with your face before you talk to me and get your looks up. No ugly man formed against me shall prosper. <sighs> okay, I'm back. In other news, Black Twitter, what are we gonna do? I'm usually one of the first people to roll my eyes when people say Twitter is dying, but man, it does not look good. And the people in charge don't seem to have a clue as to how to right the ship. We're swimming in shark infested waters because Twitter's terrified of losing users. And the whole time I can't believe nobody's thought of a way to monetize the site without relying so heavily on ads and user growth. Twitter's had this problem for years now, like come on already. I mean, when you think about the grand scheme of things, most businesses don't rely heavily on ad sales to pay their bills, but for some reason, even with advertisers giving digital media sites the cold shoulder, sites keep putting so many of their eggs in the advertiser basket. And it is completely confusing to me. It boggles the mind, my mind, sufficiently boggled. And it sucks because I don't wanna see Twitter die. Outside of the fact that Twitter is fun, there's a whole social movement happening right now that's fueled and influenced by the fact that people can access other people easily on Twitter. I don't know what happens if we lose that access. I'll be honest, I'm scared to know what happens if we lose that access. I don't want to go back to the days of having to rely on the news to find out what just happened. Where am I supposed to go? Facebook? Twitter is a cooperative site with leadership that doesn't want to admit it. And if they don't get it together soon, it might not be around for much longer. Meanwhile, as we spiral down the drain, we still have to deal with trash people who won't have their accounts deleted for actually violating Twitter's terms of service. Like Raina, for example, AKA at the nude queen. 
I need someone to explain to me how her entire thread in which she details coercing a man into sex doesn't violate Twitter's terms of service. Explain it to me like I'm five. She literally admitted to raping a man. I don't know why she's not in jail. Usually the problem with indicting and convicting rapists is proving they did it. You can't get them to admit that they did it. And it's often hard to prove. The nude queen detailed exactly how she did it and from the looks of it, she's not in jail and her Twitter is still going strong. Meanwhile, we all know she did it for attention because this is the same woman who thought it'd be a good idea to rank all the men that she slept with in detail with their ats in the tweets. She wanted attention and she got it. Now, the best we can hope for is that man's girlfriend catching her slipping and serving her the Kansas City Shuffle. It's a failure to act by so many parties in so many ways. But I just want to go on record as saying that Reyna and all the men and women who are defending her are bargain barrel trash. You're not even the good trash that can be used later to grow flowers and trees or whatever. You are toxic dump trash and I hope you can't procreate. That's all I have to say about that. Let's sip. By the way, we are six, seis, six days away from Halloween and I have a Halloween special baking in the oven for you. So be sure to tune in on October 31st for some treats. No tricks. Promise. And as always, whether you're watching or listening to the show, subscribe and rate it. I'd appreciate it. The day awaits. Make it great. Have a good morning, Black Twitter.